Hello and welcome to a new episode of Lava Core Adventures, where we take pieces of our favorite PHP framework and together figure out how they work in the background. This is level number one of the Kingdom of Notifications. So let's dive right in. Today in this new adventure, we start exploring Laravel's notification system. So sending notification is part of almost every modern application. And I'm super happy that Laravel provides this beautiful, easy to use, but also flexible system for us. Let's give it a try and let me show you what I mean. By the way, this is the brand new Laravel website, which I just think um, looks amazing. So great work here. So here in our application, let's assume that we want to send monthly reports to every user. And here in this example, we are using the notification facade to send a specific notification to a specific user. So notifications mostly are just very short messages where you want to inform the user about something that has happened in the application. So in our case, we already created a report, maybe for a cron shop, and now we even want to notify the user about it. So a notification is not here to create the report, it's just here to inform the user that it has already happened. So this is why it's important to give your notifications a good name. In this case, we tell the user about that the monthly report has already been created. All right, so let's check out this notification and here we can also see that we're already passing in some report URL. So this would be the URL of the report that the user can download then through the notification. So in Laravel, for every notification, you have to create a notification class, which extends the base notification. And here, super important is the wire method. With this method, we are defining through which channel or driver we want to send this notification. So by default, the mail channel is active, and this is also what we want to use today. But inside Laravel, you can also use Slack, um, Nexmo for SMS, or you can store notifications inside the database as well. But today we want to concentrate on sending an email. And then for every channel you want to use, you have this two method. So two mail is responsible for the message that you want to send via mail. If you want to send a message with Slack, then the method would be called to Slack. And here we are returning the message that we want to send through this channel. And this is important because every channel is quite different, has different features. You can um, prepare the message differently. So for example, sending an email looks different from sending an SMS, of course. So here we're defining the message that best fits for our email use case here. And I have already defined the mail message. That's what you want to use with mail notifications. And here we have some methods that help us to yeah, create a basic layout for this notification. So here we're just saying this is our monthly report. You can download it here through this URL. So this will create a button. And then we say thank you for using our application. All right, now back in our route file, I think we should give it a try. When we hit this endpoint, Laravel will grab the first user and send our notification through the notification facade to this user. Let's refresh the page and try it out. Blank screen means no errors, so this is great. So since I'm using MailTrap, all outgoing messages of my application will be sent to this service instead of the actual address. This is perfect for debugging mails or demos like today. And I have already set up this service um, before this video. So we see now our email here with a basic HTML template that Level provides us. And we have all the parts here that we have defined through our mail message, like this sentence here or the button. Okay, cool. So it looks like everything is working. We have sent the notification. We have been using the notification facade, like I mentioned. And this is basically how notifications work in Lava. In the next videos, we are going to dive into the core to check out how the notification system is implemented inside of Lava 
and how this notification facade that we were using here is working. Stay tuned and see you.